Hello everyone, my name is Chris Roberts here with High and Tight and today the question has been asked how do you make razor blades last longer? In this case I'm talking about the capacity in which I use uh, razors for. I use two basic type of razors. I use your standard uh, what we call a feather razor, a uh, regular razor and it's a feather, uh, has a feather guard on it. The guard that's on here means that the area that's going to be cut is only going to be cut where you see the little notches. That creates really great texture when you're cutting somebody's hair. Texture meaning uh, movement of the hair uh, in the process of cutting it. I use it basically for blending an awful lot. Um, so if I've used my clippers and somebody has really solid lines and I want to soften those lines, one, so that they don't, are not seen because you never want to have lines on a haircut, especially on a men's haircut. So you want to use a whole different arsenal of, of uh, tips and techniques to be able to minimize lines that show up in your haircut. So for me, I use this particular razor to help soften those lines and to make, the, make them disappear. As you'll notice on this side, here's where the blade is, and then this is the guard that not only protects myself, but it also protects the client, so that when I'm using it, it's creating a nice gentle effect, it's only cutting where you see the little notches, and then at the end of that particular thing, I'll be able to sanitize it and be able to put it into what I call the barbicide jar and that way it gets a thorough disinfection, uh, disinfection so that I don't pass any potential you know, germs or whatnot to an, a future client. The other, the other blade that I happen to use is made by Jatai or Jatai and it's called a nape razor. You'll notice it's a much smaller, smaller head and there's no actual guard that you see on it. The guard itself is actually built into the blades that come with it. So for example, when I, buy the, when I buy the blades, you buy replacement blades, they come in this fancy little thing, and all you simply do is eject the old one, of course it gets discarded, and then you load a new one. That way it minimizes the chance of you getting hurt or, um, or damaged in the process, because you don't want to cut yourself with any of these things. I can sanitize it and reuse that several times before that blade will start to get dull. It really depends on how much you're using it, how often you use it, and what, what activity that you're using it for. Again, my name is Chris with High and & Tight and I'll look forward to talking to you in the future.